Yo, welcome back everybody to the course and today we're going to be talking about how to convert our app into dark mode, light mode and something that's pretty cool, contrast mode. So let's get into it. So it's pretty simple. Um, it'll be done in a couple of lines of code. So what we're going to be doing is go ahead and open up your index.js file right here. And at the very top, we're going to have to import some CSS from React Suite. So what we have to do is import our suite slash dist slash rsuite dot min dot css now they do recommend they use less um, so they don't use too much css um, but we're just going to use regular css and convert our app into dark mode from there so to actually make this work all we have to do is put our app within a custom provider this is sort of like how material ui ad design and mantine do it so just give it a custom provider oops custom provider with a self closing brace like so and we're going to encapsulate our app inside of there like that and we have to give this bad boy a theme so we have three themes dark high contrast and light so if we go to dark our app will be entirely converted into dark mode and thankfully all the components that are from react suite are already um, compatible with dark mode so if you want to do high contrast you can just go ahead and replace this with high contrast and you can see what that looks like pretty bright looks not bad uh, but for the proceeding of this course, we're going to go ahead and work in dark mode. And now that we know how to actually make the entire app into light mode or dark mode, let's go ahead and implement this functionality in a button so that whenever we click it, it goes from light mode and dark mode. So firstly, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get rid of this custom provider. And we're going to treat our actual app.js file as our provider itself. So if I go into here, whatever is going to be contained inside of here is our entire app. So we're going to have our navigation, our routes, basically everything. So what we're, what we're going to do is go ahead and implement a custom provider at the very top there and add it to the very bottom right there. And we're going to go ahead and give this a theme of dark since we already implemented our suite main CSS up here as well. Alrighty, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using our local storage as our setter for dark mode and light mode. So when we click a button, let's say we click on this message button, it will go from light mode and dark mode. So the first thing we have to do is we have to create a use state variable. So we const set toggle. Oops, not set toggle. Uh, toggle mode and set toggle mode is equal to use state. Oops, use state like so. Go ahead and import it. And inside here we're going to give it a local storage dot get item, and then we're going to give it toggle mode is equal to true alrighty so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using a use effect object so on initial render you can check if we've set it in our local storage as light mode or dark mode so the use effect and inside of here I'll give it toggle mode and for this we'll do local storage dot set item oops that's set item and we're going to do toggle mode to be toggle mode. So whatever our mode has been toggled between light mode or dark mode, it'll set to that initially. And we put it in right here so it doesn't continuously re-render every single time we refresh the page. And after that, we're going to create a function, which is going to just basically toggle uh, our set toggle mode between true and false on the click of our button. So we'll do set toggle mode button. Mm. Function. That's a really bad name. Toggle mode func. Sure, why not? And is that here? I'll do set toggle mode. I'll do not toggle mode like so. And so now what will happen is whenever we click a button, it will toggle between true and false. And so to actually get this to work, uh, what we're going to be doing firstly is we're going to convert this into ternary operator. So we'll do toggle mode question mark between dark and light there we go and so finally what we have to do is we have to apply this to a actual button so what we'll do is we'll, we're just going to go ahead and use this large button here I'll get rid of all the other buttons inside of here and I'll get rid of all of these buttons as well so inside of here inside of this large button right here all we're going to do is we're going to give it an icon firstly Right, I forgot, this has to be an icon button, not a regular button. So icon 
button icon bouton like so and we have to give it icon and inside here what we'll do is we're going to set a ternary operator again that'll basically show an eyeball um, in closed and open position to represent uh, light mode and dark mode unfortunately the out of the box icons in this library doesn't have sun or moon so we have to do what we have to do and I'm too lazy to implement another version of it so what we'll do is toggle mode question mark Oops. and we'll do visible or unvisible and let's go ahead and import these at the top so right inside of here I'm going to do visible and unvisible like so let's see what the issue is unvisible right it should be just lowercase like that mm, unvisible there we go okay perfect so now we have to do we have to give it a on click so on click we're gonna just go ahead and run our toggle mode function toggle mode funk like so and hopefully there we go now it works so now we have light mode and dark mode on the click of a button and let me just change the text here uh, toggle light toggle mode I guess yeah. there we go Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, we don't even need a button because we have the eyeball. So I'm going to go that and make a self closing brace like so. There we go. Perfect. Alrighty, now we have to test if this works from the local storage point of view. So I've opened up an incognito tab and I'm going to go ahead and go into local storage.3000. And if we click on right here, we should see toggle mode at false, which is fine. If I toggle this and I refresh the page, we should see true. There we go. Right, let me zoom in a little bit. There we go. So now we see true. And so now if I open up a new tab and we go to local storage, we should see it dark mode. Perfect. Alrighty, so that concludes this video. We learned how to work with local storage, the dark mode, light mode, and the custom provider. And um, if you enjoyed this one, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.